from Everything Micro FPV. And this is the GEPRC Smart 35. It comes in analog as well as HD or digital FPV. So let's look at some basic specifications. It's using the new GEP ST35 frame, which is the big brother of the two and a half inch Phantom HD that's recently undergone a name change to the Smart HD. The frame's bottom plate and arms are on a single sheet of four millimeter carbon. The top plate is two mils and running 155 millimeter wheelbase. It comes with additional braces if you want to reinforce the arms and the frame, and it does come with the motor bolts to add them in. If you get the analog version, it comes with the GEP RC Stable 5.8G VTX with 600 milliwatts of output power. The Cadex Retel V2 is the camera. The VTX is taken from a 16x16 stack and is mounted on top of the all-in-one with a plastic adapter plate. The HD or digital version comes with a Cadex Vista with the Nebula Nano. GEPRC is citing the chip shortage as the reason for going the Nano over the Pro. It's mounted to the top plate, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but it is a better solution than having the Vista as a virtual standoff that you find on the Emacs Babyhawk 2. Base pricing for the GEPRC Smart 35 HD plug and play, where you've got to add your own receiver, is 339. The Emacs comes in at 319. So you're paying a little bit more for an inferior camera, but you do get 10 amps more headroom on the ESC. Now, the all-in-one is new from GEPRC. It's a 35 amp F411. It's got two UARTs and a third is available by Soft Serial, which is a little disappointing because if you wanted to use this for micro long range, then you're gonna be running the GPS over Soft Serial, which is possible, but not exactly recommended. GEPRC have mounted this all in one, but a little different to normal. It's been turned on an angle to be square with the frame rather than the traditional diamond shape that we see in most warp and toothpick boards. Now this then has the motor wires running a little skew if to the board. The motors are 1404 3850 kV and they're a little bit notchy, but it's quite minimal. GEPRC also makes the same motors in 4500 kV, so if you wanted to convert to 2 to 3S, or 2750 kV if you wanted to run 4 to 6S. It comes with the 3.5 inch Emacs Aven Scimitar props. Now they're whisper cry and very responsive. I flew it on the HQ 3.5 inch props as well as the Emacs ones. I've flown it on 4S 550mA as well as 4S 850 and both were quite enjoyable. Now I didn't notice the weight differential between the two, but you could just feel that the 850 had a touch more carry. If you wanted to fly it on a 3S, that's completely possible as well. 3S 850 tones it down just a little, so if you have a bunch of 3S batteries and didn't want to go and spend some money on buying a whole bunch of 4S batteries, then you won't need to worry, you still have an excellent flight experience. Flight times on each of the batteries for the 4S 550 milliamps is seven minutes with 189 grams all up weight. 4S 850 is nine minutes at 232 grams all up weight. And the 3S 850 comes in at five minutes at 211 grams all up weight. Now, three and a half inch form factor is an interesting one and I like it because it feels the right size to scale down a five inch to achieve sub 250 grams. It does it better than four inch and it feels a lot nicer than three inch. And it comes in on the sweet spot on the Chris Rosser scale. For me, three inch feels like the props don't generate enough thrust for the weight and four inch has too much body or frame weight for the size and you end up having to sacrifice frame strength in order to keep the weight under 250 grams. Now there's still plenty of headroom to be able to add a naked GoPro and GEPRC have just released their own and the Smart 35 comes pre-wired with the power lead to power the naked GoPro but you do want to remain running on a maximum of 4S. The Smart 35, either in HD or analog, is close to perfect. If the all-in-one had a third UART as opposed to soft serial, that's all it would take to get it over the line. 
Other than that, it is an excellent quad and if you buy it, you won't be disappointed. I'm now going to leave you with some flight footage of me ripping around a park so you can see just exactly how it goes in the air.